Hey there Sagittarius, this is Deborah, and this is going to be your mid-May 2020 reading. So good to be back with you, I hope everyone is well where you are, um, tricky time but there we go, we're all pulling together which is what it's all about. Let's find out what's going to be happening for you Sag for the month of, well, mid-month, right? <laughs> for mid-month of May. So I've been spending some time with the deck, channeling through Archangel Michael. He's been showing me images of insects, right? And I know you probably think, ooh, insects? Yeah, but notably bees, notably honeybees. He's been showing me jars of honey. He has been um, showing me the inside of um, a bee's nest, honeybee, right? Busy, 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 busy. Um, I've been hearing buzzing noises and you're going, oh my God, she's gone crazy. No, she, he's just been showing me, um, for you, images that relate to being busy, being productive, okay? Um, juggling a lot of balls in the air, which you probably are right now. It could be that you are spending a lot of time with your kids. It could be that you are online searching for new jobs, maybe holding down two or three jobs. It could be that you're deciding to move, right? If you've been in quite an expensive rental apartment or, you you know, all that kind of thing, you're moving to somewhere much smaller to save on the rent. Um, whatever you're doing, you're very industrious, Sag, okay? Some of you are changing careers. Some of you are opening online businesses, okay? Maybe after redundancy. But I'm feeling as if there's a sense of optimism and you're just managing everything really well, Sag. Hats off to you. Hats off. So whatever this is for you, let's move into this reading and see where it goes. Okay, see where it goes. All right. Here we go. Okay, Sagi. Oh, and the cards are being difficult. Mm. Yeah, Michael's been saying to me, you've gone through a difficult time. So for some of you, it might be job loss, to be honest. And the way things are going, it's been tricky, right? As I said, it could be a change of relationship. It could be a change of location. Um, it could be that you're needing to change things around in your daily routine. But the wheel is, the wheel is moving. The wheel is moving. Okay. All right. Ooh, wow, start off with the star. Beautiful, lovely, healing, soft energy. Okay, you could be connected to an Aquarius. If not, this is you. Finding your inner strengths. That's the energy I'm feeling. Finding your inner strengths. Finding a way through the chaos. Okay, and managing things really, really well. Um, for some of you, you're moving out of a situation that for you was tricky, difficult, toxic, restrictive, okay? And you are finding your feet again, maybe in a new routine, a new situation, okay? Um, balancing your money as well. I'm also hearing, Sag, that you may have had help from someone else. Now, this could have been um, government assistance. This could have been a friendly neighbour. It could have been a member of your family. But there's definitely been help, particularly financially, for you. Okay? Yeah. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, nearly there, nearly there. Well, there we go. Sad, this is a really, really good reading for you. Um, I think it's come um, after a time of stagnancy, indecision, a bit of fear, worry what's going to happen, okay? But I think you are slowly realising that doors have swung open for you. You might have also had a mindset change. Changing the way you're looking at things, changing the way you are viewing other people. Okay. And 
beginning to get the wheel moving again. And I think you're very busy in making those changes, making movements forward and shifting yourself into a new life path. Okay. Um, it could be that your love life is changing, is on the up. <laughs> okay. Under the deck. Wheel of Fortune, a destined change, wheel moves forward, and wow, what do we have underneath the Two of Cups? Two of Cups. Yes. How beautiful is that? And my goodness, coming out of inner conflict, coming out of fear, over worrying, anxiety, no more. Sag, on the move, you know what's what, and you're moving forward. Oh, how gorgeous. I'm getting a really lovely light energy. Yes, busy. <laughs> Michael's, Michael's been showing somebody running. He's been showing somebody putting their foot down in the car. Um, he's actually been showing me a big wheel, right? The wheel is moving. And you're feeling as if at last you're getting somewhere. You're really getting somewhere. And you've got someone who has been helping you or somebody who is coming in to shine light on a situation that you were very confused about. Okay, beautiful. Oh, so exciting. Right, Saj, let's just move the camera fraction. Can you see that? Yep. All right, guys, that's pretty good. So we jump straight in. And as I said, the star. Healing, hope for the future. I'm also feeling that for one or two of you, you are healing a connection. Now, for some, this could be a family connection. For others, it's a romantic connection. You could have an Aquarius suddenly turn up on your doorstep, right? Or send you a message saying they want to come and see you. But what is really lovely is you're moving away from a place of fear and confusion, anxiety, stress about the future, and you've relaxed and you're no longer worrying about things. You're pushing that energy into being proactive. And I think that's what you've been doing up until now and you're going to continue to do and it's worked in your favour. Crossing that, devil in reverse, there could have been a Capricorn that kind of shifted out of your life or you've released anything that held you back, any very fixed mindset, you're getting rid of that or you have got rid of it, thinking about things differently, thinking about things from an, a, a much higher perspective, seeing the bigger picture for sure, okay? And there's also a sense of pushing forward now with nothing to hold you back. Pushing forward, really lovely, yeah. I keep getting the word industrious, busy. Michael showed me lots of bees. Busy in a, in a hive, creating honey. Oh, okay. Oh, Michael, I can't say that. He's, he's laughing at me. You may be creating something very sweet with your honey, okay? <laughs> I know a lot of you are rolling your eyes, but yeah. There's something very sweet that you are very busy creating developing. It could be a brand new project. It could be a new job. It could be a relationship. But this is something that for you allows you to release the stress of what the future is going to bring. Okay, really important. In the past, seven of cups in reverse. You might have looked at other options in love. You might have delved into looking at different projects. What's going to make me happy now? For some of you, this is a big life shift. Michael's also saying you've understood what's important in life. So if you've been working really hard in a day to day job, nine to five, and you felt really unfulfilled, if you were just constantly um, feeling that you know, the only people attracted to you were those that didn't want to stay, those that didn't want a commitment. Everything's changing. And you realise that. You came out of confusion and you let other little worries and even other options go in the past. 
And I think you had a very strong mindset of what you wanted to achieve, where you wanted to go, who you wanted to be with even. And Michael's saying you put up very firm boundaries, very strong boundaries, which now are working in your favour. In the immediate past, we have the King of Cups. For some of you Sanji girls, you could have reconnected with a water sign man in your immediate past, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or just a man who actually professed their love for you. I do want to be with you because you came out of confusion. You released any other options and you move forward. Now, for some of you, particularly you Sagi guys, you sat in a King of Cups with one person on your mind and you let go of other options knowing that this was the person you really wanted to be with. Could be a Capricorn, could have been an Aquarius. We have practically every element on the board. In your thoughts, Satch, for you Saggy guys, deciding, okay, that's the woman for me. I'm going to offer her a commitment. This is what I want. No one's going to stop me. Very strong energy. Okay? Could be an earth sign, Saggy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be getting your wish fulfilled with a Capricorn for you guys out there. Now, if not, then Sag, you girls are holding this energy. You are now thinking, wow, my finances are stable. I've sorted things out. I know where I'm going. I'm very busy. I'm industrious. I've been proactive. I've had a very strong mindset. I put up boundaries. And either because of that, your money has been improving due to your hard work, Sag, or you find yourself in a relationship that's possibly going to go the distance, possibly going to be long term, nice and secure, whatever your situation is. Lovely energy. So, Archangel Michael, when do we have the next energy? Can't speak. When do we have the next energy? Come into the immediate future, please. Thank you. June, middle of June to the end of July. Middle of June to the end of July, Sag, you are sat in the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Love it. Love it. If you felt very disconnected from someone, and it could be that you two just couldn't get to each other, it could be this whole virus issue, right? You had to stay isolated or somebody lived at a distance, couldn't get on a plane. You are now closing that gap. You're coming back together with someone and I'm feeling back together with someone. You're reconfirming your feelings, okay? This is a lovely coming together. This could be reunion. Or you are realising that suddenly when you check your bank account, things are pretty damn good, right? Relief, wow. No huge issues to do with my finances. Really good. Whoever is in your environment is standing up for themselves and I'm feeling is also, in the nicest sense, standing up and preventing other people from getting at you. <laughs> okay, yeah, now this could be who's realised, this could be somebody who's realised I am so in love, I want to make sure I lock this person down, right? I want to make sure that Saggy is with me and only me. I want to be with Sag. That is the person I'm in love with. Fighting off the competitors for you, Sag. Beautiful. Very strong, very stable, very capable, possibly in fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're doing so with a sense of triumph. Now, it could be a little bit of smug energy because they've won you. You've decided that you're going to give this person a chance. You're going to move forward. OK, they could feel pretty damn good about it. <laughs> OK, it could well be that you've got someone fighting your corner, preventing other people from getting at you because you're just so busy. Somebody who is taking the phone calls, somebody who is answering the emails, somebody who is helping you in some way. Really nice energy. 
but this is someone definitely fighting your corner. Standing up for what they believe in, which is you and you working industriously to build up your stability. Okay, beautiful energy of mixing the yin and the yang, getting rid of any toxic energy, any restrictions, any problems, letting it go, letting them go. And you moving forward, if this is love, as I said, this is someone who really wants to be with you. And they stand, they're standing very firmly in their truth. No one else is going to get my sag. I am here. I'm going to support them. I'm going to be grounded and stable. I'm going to help them in any way they can, any way I can. This might have been someone, Saggy, who didn't put in the effort before. This might have been somebody you had a problem with in the past, but they are now very strong, realizing that the only way that you are going to accept them into your life to stay is that if they pull their finger out, if they make the effort, if they help you in your life. This is a really lovely energy. I'm seeing two oak trees standing, or not standing, two oak trees planted very close together, almost as if you two, they're supporting each other, very strong. The roots go deep is what Michael is telling me, the roots go deep. This could have been somebody who you were in isolation from that you're now coming back around with. This could be a partner you were separated from. They now want to work on the commitment, on the marriage, whatever this is. This could be somebody that you knew in the past that has suddenly realized they're in love and they're coming in with a lot of strength. OK, I'm going to work on this. I want this. I'm going to do everything I can to make you feel proud of me. I want you in my life and only you. This is a really powerful energy, Sag. Beautiful. In your fears, Sag. Is, I'm laughing, is the Queen of Cups in the reverse. You may almost feel as if all your Christmases have come at once, right? And I say that because you've got a wish come true, you're healing, you've got rid of anything restrictive or toxic in your life, your money's stabilizing, money's coming in, and you've got someone really in love who is wanting to be with you. I mean, this is pretty damn good, right? I mean, this is kind of ticking all the boxes. But Sanj, I have to say, I feel that this is down to your effort. Effort that you put into a relationship and to your own situation to bring this about. Almost as if you've changed the energies to bring yourself this good luck. Really nice. But of course, the Queen of Cups in your fears could be you feeling a bit emotional. Is this really happening? Um... Is this all going to stop at some point? You know, almost as if you can't really believe that this is really happening to you. Very nervous that someone's going to take it away from you. Take away your money. Take away your love. They're not, Sag. You have earned this. You have worked through the toxic energy. You've put up your boundaries. And this is the divine rewarding you. This is your time to celebrate. And yes, you may be run off your feet. You may be trying to hold down a brand new, very intense relationship with work, with kids, with family. Right? But you're doing it. You're doing it. I mean, you're the warrior, Sad. You can handle so much. And I think this is you understanding that you've just got to keep going. But you're doing it with a lightness of energy. You're doing it because you're creating something. You're building a relationship. You're stabilizing your money. And it's all kind of fitting into place. In your hopes, page of cups, hoping that with all this busyness, you can keep things going with your other half. Hoping that your kids are going to be okay in the mix. Because there's a lot that's going to be happening, Sag. You may already have felt this big shift forward, this big push, right? Let's get the show on the road. Let's do this. You may not know what to do first. You may be sitting on a business that's suddenly taking off 
You may have suddenly reunited with somebody and they want to get serious. It's almost as if you're trying to keep all the balls in the air, but you're happily doing it because you are at last making progress. You're bringing happiness into your life and you're understanding that it's all been worth it. The waiting, the worry, the fears, the working, it's been worth it. And now things are coming into fruition and look at you charging forward. Knight of Wands, okay, I'm ready. I've got a lot on my plate, but let's go for it. Let's do it. Let's launch this business. Let's move in together, right? Let's get the show on the road. Beautiful. Moving forward, Sag, after I feel a period of indecision, confusion. Where is my life going? Who am I supposed to be with? What business am I supposed to be in? And it's all happening. I mean, this is just heaven sent. Wheels turn forward, two of cups energy, you're progressing. Fast communication, fast action, possibly from um, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We've got Aquarius here, could be any sign. We've also got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And of course we have Aries, Leo, Sag. But look at this. Cup is overflowing, Saggy. Ace of Cups, someone coming in to say, I love you, I want this, let's do this. Clear, honest communication about new love, right? Let's reunite. Let's do this. Somebody that might have been out of your life for a long time is coming back. They want you. They want you. And you're coming out of stress. No more stress. No more. Releasing this. No, I now have clarity that my life is finally moving forward. I know where I'm going. I know who I'm going to be with. Stabilizing myself, my foundation. And with the King of Pentacles, this is somebody also very grounded, very secure. As I said, could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or somebody who is very strong and stable. Wanting to stand up for you, wanting to stand up for the connection, protecting you, making sure you don't do too much, Saji, there for you. A bastion of strength is actually what I'm hearing. Wow. A bastion of strength. And this guy does look as if he's a bastion of strength, right? No one is going to come through this door. I'm protecting my Saj. No, you can't date Saggy because she or he is mine. <laughs> yeah, so Sag, what can I say? What an amazing reading. Let's move into Kippa, okay, just to see what more information we can get through for you. But as far as I'm concerned, this is pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. So Michael, energy please for my Sagis. I'm actually even feeling, for those of you that have wanted to move forward, this could be you in the next few weeks discussing moving in together, discussing buying a house together, um, feeling really secure with someone. Um, oh, wow. And I do feel that for some of you, this has related to... Um, Someone who's been doing a lot of thinking about you, Sag, and has decided potentially to get in contact. Um, it might have been somebody from a distance. Okay, that really wanted to come out. Let's have a look. Might have been someone that you knew a while ago, but you couldn't be with because they were in a commitment. Now this is moving. This is them coming back to you saying, look, I'm in love with you. I've sorted out the situation. Let's do this. Right? <laughs> yeah house now for some of you you're making a decision about a house possibly moving in with somebody possibly putting a house on the market okay maybe you're redecorating a new house together this is gorgeous wow courtship look at that stability two people coming together you will be courted sag 
This is someone who does not want to let you go. This is somebody who's realised how they feel about you. This is someone who is going to do everything they can to make you feel secure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the lovers. Can it get any better, Michael? He's saying no. Can't get any better than this. Okay. One and five is six. This is a lovely, stable, balanced connection. Could be dealing with a Gemini, okay, with a lover's card. But this is, look at that. I mean, lover's courtship house. I mean, this is so clear, Sag. Distant horizons. Yeah, I really do feel that this might be after you left the past behind, you dropped the weight, whatever that was, or your person dropped the weight. There could also have been a distance between the two of you, right? Maybe they worked abroad. Maybe they lived somewhere else. But this is someone coming in fast, really wanting this with you, really wanting this with you, doing everything they can to bring this about. They want this. Yeah. Okay. We've got a guy here thinking very carefully about a woman. How do I do this? How do I reach my Sag? What's she going to say if I contact him? Contact her. Oh, Saggy, this is you. You're the guy. And you're thinking about a woman you wanted to be with for a while. And you're going for it. You're going for it. No more hanging around. You know what you want. No more procrastination. You are moving forward with speed and a heck of a lot of passion. Look at that. The lovers, two of cups, ace of cups, knight of wands, a wish fulfilled. Moving away from toxic energy and someone here who really wants this stability. Nothing else to say, Sad, except that this is your story. Congratulations. You've worked for it. You've set up those boundaries. You've been very proactive. You've gone through possibly quite a tough time. But you're healing from that now. And this is the divine rewarding you with so much happiness, so much stability. And you're feeling as if, or you will be feeling, Sad, as if it was all worth it. It was all worth it. I'm leaving it there. Sending love and light your way. Many blessings. Take care of you. If this is for you, do reach out and we can see where this goes. Um, you can book a private reading down below, debraclare.com. Sending you all my love, as I said, and I shall see you very soon for your next. Thank God it's Friday. Catch up. See you then. Bye, Sag.